My name is Dan Merrick, and I'm the plant manager at Best Enterprises here in Cabot, Arkansas. I just want to take this opportunity to tell you again that we make some very, very fine equipment, quality backed, quality built, and we do back our equipment. We make several small units like these 400-150s, 300-110s that we have available. But today we're going to do an instructional video on how to operate the trucks. And I'm just going to take a moment to walk around and show you a little bit about our trucks and I'm going to turn it over to my associate which is Eric and he is our guy that heads up the hydraulic and electrical team here at Best Enterprise. Thank you very much. Here I'd like to just talk a little bit about this Ford F750 which is a good truck. This truck has a mechanical drive system. It runs a mass port vacuum pump. And over here we have a Hino. It has a hydraulic drive system, single service unit. It has a U-door high pressure washer. And over here we have a Mitsubishi. It's a dual service. It has a hydraulic drive system on it also. Has a high pressure washer system on it. And over here we have an international DT-466-4300. It's a single service unit, hydraulic drive system, high pressure washer, work lights, very, very fine truck. My name is Eric. I'm the lead man over the hydraulics and electrical at Best Enterprises here in Cabot, Arkansas. And I'm going to go over running the trucks with you, how to operate the vacuum pump, the pressure washer, and all the accessories that are on it. I'm going to go over operating the truck and starting the PTO system with you. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to start the truck and let it warm up to operating temperature. Whenever the truck is warmed up, you're going to flip the PTO switch on and it'll automatically bring your idle up to 1200 RPMs, which is the appropriate idle to run the PTO system. It also has work light switch mounted right next to the PTO switch. This controls your two halogen work lights mounted on the tank. This is our stock truck, which is an international DT-466-4300. It has a 1500 gallon tank on it, single service tiger tail, and a pressure washer. This is a platform where we mount all of our hydraulic accessories. We have our U-Door 4,000 PSI pressure washer. We have our Condi SDS-12 vacuum pump. We have our directional valve that operates the platform, and now I'm going to go over how to operate it with you. The first thing I'm going to go over is running the vacuum pump. If you get ready to pull vacuum and start sucking out a toilet, the first thing you want to do is after you've turned on the PTO and brought the truck's idle up, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pull the handle all the way out on the vacuum pump. This is the vacuum mode. Once you have the handle all the way out, you just push the directional valve down. The truck will begin to pull vacuum and the vacuum relief, which is right here, will cut the truck off at 18 inches of vacuum and hold it there. If you get ready to run pressure, like if you have a clog in your hose or if you need to empty out the truck, what you'll do is you'll put the handle in neutral first and that bleeds out any vacuum or pressure that's in the tank. Whenever you get ready to run pressure, you just push the handle all the way in. This activates the pressure mode and then the same thing, you push the directional valve down and you'll begin to put pressure into the tank up to five pounds. The next feature I'm going to go over with you is the U-Door 4000 PSI pressure washer. It's mounted right on the platform next to the vacuum pump and it's controlled by the directional valve just like the vacuum pump. But whenever you run your pressure washer, instead of pushing your directional valve handle down, you're going to push it up, and that'll make you able to run your pressure washer. We've added a new feature that allows you to prevent your, your pressure washer from cracking during the winter or overnight. What you'll do is you'll shut off your water supply line, hook up a hose to this hose barb, and set it down in a jug of antifreeze. Whenever you run your pressure washer, you'll flip the handle up, shut this valve off, and open this valve and it will suck the antifreeze through the pressure washer until it sprays out the end and now you're ready to store your truck for the winter. This truck has an oil catch muffler which catches all the oil that runs through the vacuum pump. It has a three-quarter inch ball valve down on the bottom 
that's supposed to be drained every day along with your regular daily maintenance on the truck. This truck is also equipped with two aluminum storage bins, one mounted on each side, a 24 inch by 18 inch aluminum storage bin. On the side of the storage bin, we mount the oil tank for the vacuum pump. This is to be filled daily with 10W30 fully synthetic motor oil. We ha also have a primary protection and a secondary protection for the tank to prevent overfilling and prevent waste from getting down in the pump. This is to be drained daily along with checking the oil in the reservoir. This truck is also equipped with a bucket holder to keep your chemical buckets in. This truck is also equipped with a pressure washer sprayer, a two inch tiger tail hose with a ball valve. We have a 20 inch manway up top to allow you to clean the inside of your tank and check for any type of maintenance that you might need to do. Our truck is equipped with a stainless toilet carrier and a carbon steel bumper which is the strongest in the industry. It's equipped with a Reese hitch, a license plate light. It's also the strongest toilet carrier in the industry with one handed operation of the lever to set it down and also one handed operation to latch it back. Our truck is also equipped with a DOT light which we use LEDs so that they last a lot longer than the standard bulb. We have two halogen work lights, one on the back and one on the driver's side. On our hydraulic equipped vehicles, we put a 40 gallon aluminum hydraulic tank on. It has a sight gauge in the side that tells you how much hydraulic fluid you have and what temperature it's running at. If this gauge reads over 160 degrees, it's time to turn the truck off because you've run the hydraulic system too hard. It has a filter and a pressure gauge that shows you when it's time to change your filter. If this gauge ever reads in the red once the truck is warmed up, it's time to change your hydraulic filter. This is a Ford F750 equipped with a mechanical drive shaft driven vacuum pump. It has a Massport XLW4 on it and I'm going to go over some of the basics of how to run this pump with you. This pump has a gear driven oil pump inside of it so it doesn't use vacuum. If there's oil in it, it will pump it as long as the lines aren't clogged. It's a simple flip lever, pressure on the left, and vacuum on the right. It'll build vacuum until 18 inches and then the vacuum relief will shut it off. If you put it on pressure, it'll run pressure until it reaches five pounds, which will allow you to empty your tank or unclog your line. This concludes our demonstrational video. Thank you for purchasing a truck from Best Enterprises. If you have any questions or comments, please call us at 1-800-288-BEST.